Dear Cloud Imperium Games, It's come to my attention that there may have been some changes to two of my favorite ships, the Freelancer and the Starfarer. Specifically, I mean the turrets. Evidence suggests that they may have been moved. If this is the case, I hope it's not too late to sway your decision. Turret placement and field of view are essential factors in the multi-crew flight sim experience. Without good turrets, gunnery gameplay is all but pointless, which is a shame, because it's something I've been waiting for for a very long time. It began in the winter of 1980. I was crawling around on matted green carpet while my father watched an episode of Star Trek. It was then that I realized I could, in fact, have been crawling around on the floor of a spaceship instead, and that sounded totally boss. In 1994, I discovered flight sims, specifically X-Wing and Wing Commander. Immediately, I realized the potential of a multi-crew ship with a tail gunner. Then, gradually, I began to wonder how long it would take before I could run around on one of the big ships, man the turrets myself, maybe land on a planet for some shore leave and a quick homicide or two. We already had X-Wing and Wolfenstein, I thought. Just stick them together already. Surely, it was coming soon. Twenty years later, in November of 2014, my brother walks through the front door, shoves his phone into my hand, and plays a video. The video was a commercial for the MISC Freelancer. It had a manned tail turret. Finally, somebody promised a game that combined space sims and first-person shooters with multi-crew ships and tail gunners. Unfortunately, you waited until a time in my life when gaming was almost entirely replaced with responsibilities like child-rearing home maintenance, and yearly proctological examinations. And I forgave you for that. I forgave you because, at long last, I saw the promise of a first-person multi-crew space sim. Finally, I could pass the controls off to Chewie and run for the turret. Then I tried sitting in some star system turrets, and they were, um, not beautiful? Some, like the Hornet and Gladiator, just kind of made me feel like a backseat driver. Others, like the Redeemer, felt more like looking out of the footwell of my car. It nearly crushed my dreams of shooting TIE Fighters out of the equivalent of my bedroom window. And it would have, if it weren't for the Freelancer and that beautiful tail gun. It was perched so far back it seemed to teeter off the edge, affording a huge field of view that included a commanding presence above the cargo door to warn off would-be thieves, assassins, and Girl Scouts with overpriced Thin Mints. Hello. Then came the Starfarer, with two beautiful ball turrets dangling off the back. Two nearly transparent spheres with, presumably, awesome fields of view. Of course I bought one immediately. Yar. Now, two disturbing images have come to my attention. First, I see a video posted by YouTuber Teller. In it is a freelancer model found amidst the wreckage of the Disco Lando leak. It shows the aft turret on the Freelancer redesigned and moved considerably closer to the front of the ship. The second was a Takatsu Starfarer model included in a recent patch which was brought to my attention by YouTuber Buzzkiller09. This model was missing the rear turrets entirely. If these two models are accurate representations of MISC's redesigns, we've just lost the best turrets in the game, hobbling the Freelancer and effectively neutering my Starfarer. <laughs> GB defenseless, prepare to board. Moving the turret on the Freelancer forward, even a tiny bit, drastically reduces the coverage from those guns, allowing Girl Scouts to walk straight up to my cargo door without ever staring into the charred barrels of twin lasers mounted on either side of my smiling face. The truly sad thing is that neither of these events, should they occur, would be a tragedy, except that they represent the extinction of an entire species, the usable rear-mounted turret. Just take a look at the current roster of ships with rear-facing guns on the RSI website. The Vanguard, Retaliator, Redeemer, Gladiator, Super Hornet, Cutlass, Idris, Constellation, and Javelin. None of them have an unobstructed view of the rear of the ship. Add to that the Hull Series Reclaimer and Banu Merchantman. The larger hull series have guns that face aft when the cargo section is extended, which seems pretty cool, until it becomes clear that there's no way to cover anything flying directly behind because the distance between the turret and the end of the ship is approximately the length of a constellation Andromeda. This is a huge blind spot. Take note, pirates. The Reclaimer has a single-man turret that might be rear-facing, but again, you can't actually cover the rear because those guns are placed too far forward on the ship. So, again, 
there's a huge blind spot on the rear, which, I assure you, pirates will pound mercilessly. It be true. Finally, there's the Banu Merchantman. It might have a rear-facing turret. Who can say? All I can think when I look at this picture is bird skull, bird skull, bird skull. So, I'm clearly not qualified to say, but... Judging from CIG's history with turrets, it's a safe bet that it won't adequately cover the rear. Which brings me to the purpose of this letter. To everyone at Cloud Imperium Games, I just want to say that you guys are doing a great job, and in nearly every respect, I love your work. But please, I beg of you, leave the Freelancer and Starfarer turrets where they are. I have been waiting for them for more than 30 years. I, I don't think I can wait 30 more. Thanks very much for your time and consideration. Sincerely, Jim. You're not so tough without your guns, are you? I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Take that, you filthy Von Jewel! Oh, oh, oh crap. Well, hey there, pirate! What's happening? Oh, I do be thinking it's time to plunder. <laughs> you said dooby. You know what I be meaning. I want to plunder some booty. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I'm out. Here.